In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create video animations in Canva for YouTube and we're going to do everything for free. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. In today's tutorial, we are going to create title scenes for our YouTube videos and we're going to create three different styles of title scenes. All of them are going to be quite simple, but still they're going to look very professional and they're going to add a creative and interactive touch to our videos. So let's start with the first style of title scenes that I want to show you. Here we are on the Canva homepage and the first thing that I would like to do is to use the search box. So I'm going to type here YouTube and Canva is going to give us a couple of suggestions here and I'm going to select one of the options that says 1920 by 1080. I think I'm going to use this one, YouTube gaming video, why not? It doesn't matter which one you use as long as it says 1920 by 1080. Here I think I'm going to select this option right here. I think this is going to work well with the title scenes that I want to show you today. So I'm just going to click on it and then Canva is going to take me to the Canva editor. And now I'm going to start creating the first style of title scene that we can create for our YouTube videos. For this one, I'm going to delete the elements that we see here, the lines and these shapes. So let's delete all of this. And then I'm going to more, I'm going to use styles and I'm going to change the fonts for Poppins Bold. Next step is to change the background. So I'm going to use an image, static image. I already uploaded one of my photos over here. You can upload your photos by clicking on upload media. And then I'm going to drag my photo to the background of this design. Okay, one thing that I would like to do here is to click on my photo and then add transparency with this slider right here so we can see a little better the text. If not, I think the image is too bright. So we can do this. If you want, you can also adjust the photo and add some blurness moving the slider slightly to the right, like four, I would say it's fine. It depends on your photo as well. You can increase the blurness or maybe leave it as five. Then we're going to change our text. In this case, I'm going to write text and images. And then I'm going to change this text as well. And I'm going to write idea number one. So this will be the first style of title scenes that we can use for our YouTube videos, then you can download the image as it is and then insert it into your video or you can add an animation using this button that we see on this toolbar and we can select any of these options. If you pay attention, we have a bunch of free animations and the ones with the crown, these are for Canva Pro users. So in this case, let me see which one can look better with this one. I think I will use Rise and then we can actually preview our title scene using the navigation bar on top. Here we have the preview button. And this is how our title scene is going to look like. Okay, we are going to create the second style of title scene that we can use on our YouTube videos. I'm going to add a page. I'm going to templates and I'm going to use exactly the same template that we used for the first scene. So here I have the template. If you cannot find it in Canva, you can actually type for its name, black and white gamer, and then you will see it there. So let me try black and white gamer. And here it is. So it is this one. This is a free template. Now I'm going to continue with the same style that we used for the first title scene. So I'm going to change the fonts for Poppins. I'm going to collapse the styles window. I think we don't need it anymore. I'm going to delete these two icons right here. 
I think this time I'm going to leave these elements, the lines, I think they look nice. And I'm going to change the text of this title scene. So this one is text and videos. And then for the second text box, I'm going to insert idea number two. And if we pay close attention to these specific design, the background is actually a video. So if we click on the background, we see a play button right here. So let's play and the background is moving. So this template actually already has a video in the background. If we want to adjust the length of this title scene, we can go to the toolbar and use these scissors. If I want to have only five seconds on each scene, I can reduce or crop this video until we see five seconds and then hit done. Here we have our title scene using only text and videos and we are going to be able to download everything for free. I will show you later on how to download them. We can actually insert other kind of videos as well so we can go to more search for videos and here we have canvas video library so we can change these videos that we have right here or if you have your own videos you can go to uploads upload your media or go to the videos that you already uploaded before i have a random video right here that you can just drop to the background of your design and use it if you wish. If you want to erase the sound of this video, you are going to use this toolbar and click on the volume or audio icon and then reduce its volume or hit this button. In my case, I think I'm going to use this Galaxy video. I think it's pretty cool. I really like it. I think it's going to go well with my video, so I'm going to use it. And then the third idea that I want to share with you today for the title scenes of your YouTube videos is to add animations. So I'm going to duplicate this page so we can work with the same layout. I'm going to change the text right here because for this title scene, we are going to add animations. So I'm going to change my text. I think I'm going to reduce its size slightly so we can insert our animations. Because we are going to be using animated elements, I think if we leave the video in the background, this is going to be overwhelming. So I'm going to change the video for a photo. I'm going to change here my idea number two for number three. And let's go to photos. I'm going to more to search for my photos category. And here I'm going to find a photo that I can use in the background. So I think I'm going to use this one. It's looking pretty cool going to adjust this photo so we can see a tiny bit of the moon right here. I think this is looking pretty nice. And now we are going to elements. We see the elements category and we're going to search for animated spark. Now we are going to select graphics and here we have a bunch of different animated elements. In this case, because I'm looking for animated spark, we see a bunch of sparks, but if you want to find something completely different, you can type animated, whatever that you are trying to find. So for example, animated I don't know, yoga, maybe we'll see some elements related to yoga moving. So here we have, or maybe animated animal. Let me go to graphics. And then we have some animated animals as well. In this case, I'm going to go back to animated spark go to graphics and I'm going to add some sparks that I think are going to look nice on this animation so i'm going to reduce its size add it around here and then i'm going to duplicate this element and move it to this side you can duplicate this element by clicking on this button duplicate button or by just pressing option or alt and then dragging your element. Okay, I already have my two animated elements. And then if you want to go beyond, <laughs> if you want to add more animations to it, you can add animations to the page. 
So I'm going to click outside my design on the gray area and then click on animate. You can select any of these animations. So let me see. I think I really like rice for these animations or pan. So let's go for pan. And if you want as well, you can animate your text boxes. So I'm going to select add animations, select. And then we have text animations. We have a bunch of new animations only for text. So I suggest you go there if you haven't seen them yet. And for this one, we can add the typewriter. I think this animation is pretty cool or bounce as well. So yeah, you can use all of these animations or if you want to go more minimal, you can go to page animations, select none and maybe use just the text animation on the main title and leave your animated elements like this. Now, how do we download these title scenes or these videos so we can insert them in our YouTube videos? For this, we are going to the navigation bar on top and select download. Here, we're going to leave it as file type mp4 video so this is canvas suggestion this is what we need and then i'm going to download each page separately so i'm going to select page one done and then download and then i'm going to continue the same process so i can download each page or each title scene separated i already have the videos or my title scenes downloaded into my computer and i'm going to show you how to insert them into your video with adobe premiere pro this is actually the software that we use to edit our videos and before i forget i want to recommend you guys two videos because if you like this kind of tutorial i think you are going to love these two tutorials that i'm going to recommend you one is how to add videos to photos so you can create something like this so if you pay attention there is a video inside our sunglasses so this is a pretty cool trick that I guess everyone should learn. And then another video in which I show you how to create this stop motion animation in Canva. So these two videos, I think you are going to really, really love if you haven't seen them yet. And now let's go back to our tutorial. Okay, so I'm here in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's say that you already edited your video and you know where you want to insert your title scenes. I'm going to bring my title scenes, these videos that I just downloaded from Canva, and I'm going to insert them here in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so these files are mp4, all of them are videos, and the only thing that we need to do is to obviously know where you want to insert them, so I know that I want my first title scene over here. I already have a small gap so I can insert it and I just drag my video right here so here we have I can just bring the next section of the video here and let's go play let's see how it looks here we have the first section let's say that I want to insert another one right here let me cut make another gap add the second one okay like this and add another one over here this is just to show you guys how to do it let me add the last one over here okay so basically i already have my three title scenes let me see the second one So it is going to look like this. And then the third one. I really love this one. If you are going to create these kind of title scenes in Canva, I would suggest you use animations and animated elements like these spark stickers or any other animation that you want to use. I think this one of all the three ideas is the one that is looking to me better so this is our final outcome these are the three different 
title scene animations that we created for today's tutorial. I really hope that you like them. If you like them, let me know by leaving a thumbs up or leaving me a comment. This is going to help us a lot. Also, if you know of somebody who is creating videos for YouTube or is just starting and you think this video is going to help them, please share this video with us. This is going to help us a lot and it's going to help your friends also a lot. And if you guys are interested in trying Canva Pro for free, I have an affiliate link so you can enjoy 45 days of Canva Pro for free. This is 15 days more than what Canva offers on their website, so I'm going to leave that link over here. And while you wait for next week's tutorial, I'm going to leave you guys two tutorials over here that I think are going to help you a lot. I think this is it for today and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye!